I like the idea that thinking can almost be a form of making, and making is, a, of course, a very valid form of thinking, and that an art object can be uh, just as discursive or full of knowledge as an art historical essay, or maybe even a scientific paper, but a different type of knowledge. My name's Simeon Nelson. I'm a, a sculptor and installation artist. I'm based in England, and I'm the pre professor of sculpture at the University of Hertfordshire. I like to work in Australia and the UK and various other places. I think it's good for artists to have a day job in some ways. It has a lot of research and create my own creative work folded into it. But I do like the interface between research culture and making culture, and I think they inform each other. I use students in my studio, so there is a, a relationship between the teaching and I try to bring my practice into my teaching so that the readings and the types of workshops we do and the topics we address and the approaches to making and thinking spatially are obviously informed by uh, my practice. So I actually find that very re rewarding, um, so I think it's a good, a good mix. The East Link Commission, which was in 2007-8, the big metal piece I did called Desiring Machine lying there on the side of the East Link motorway. It's actually based on a, on a, uh, a motif that I found in one of those Dover pattern books. I think the motif originated from an, Alex, uh, an Augustus Pugin design. And so I took this bit of kind of slightly frumpy almost uh, English um, ornamental design and I adapted it into a kind of sculptural system Maybe I was trying to say something about the, um, the attempt by the English to impose a British notion of nature, importing all the, the Englishness to try to tame the you know, unknown land of Australia into something that was more recognisable. And for this latest work, I wanted to use steel because I wanted to make things which are, could work outdoors, indoors, things which had a kind of... Uh, having some sort of industrial purpose, which we can't determine the paradoxical thing of imprinting a very uh, fluid and uh, curly or almost, you know, could be slightly Maori or Rococo type of pattern into a very hard material. I like that, that sort of opposition. More importantly than liking particularly steel, I like sheet materials. I like to make sculptures, you know, laser cut or hand cut out of sheet material and then assemble and sort of turn through various 90 to 60 degree uh, axes to form sculpture shapes. So. I like to think of some of my work as almost not really fully 3D, but more like I would call 2.5D, somewhere between the 2D and the 3D. And an interlocutor is a participant in a conversation. It's someone who's, who's talking you know, in between other things or with other people. But these pieces are talking to each other, so they work in context with each other and they relate to each other. Of course, they're completely um, self-sufficient. They work fine on, by themselves as well. But do you see it as something that's completely sort of separate and uh, containing all its meaning within itself? Or do you see it as a more relational thing that, that only really has any meaning in terms of its relationships between whoever's looking at it or its environment or its context? That's what I'm trying to, trying to uh, make a bit more explicit in this exhibition.